We're getting to that time of the year where people are volunteering for volunteering companies like Camp America, IBHQ, and etc. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my experience of volunteering through IBHQ and how possibly you could find it for a lot easier way and a lot better way to help communities out there that you're actually volunteering for. As many of you know, I went to Costa Rica to help with the turtle conservation in Palos Mena. If you don't know about that, I've talked about it a lot on this channel, but the way I did that, and I was there for so long that I found out the little things that were wrong with the way that the tourists were going to these places. For example, I booked through a company named IVHQ. This is a very well-known company. I've seen many tourists online have gone through different kind of um, volunteering programs with IVHQ, like going to Vietnam, going to uh, Costa Rica, obviously, and loads of different countries all over the world to do things like teaching, helping with turtle conservations, or becoming a farmer, and, and all these different ways to experience the the countries and, and the life out there. The way it works is there is a whole list of things that you need to do, things like an application process where you actually have to pay a large amount of money to just apply. Uh, if you pay, you get more of a chance of volunteering. They give you a list of the things that you need, like visa requirements, um, an explanation of what to pack, but no information about exactly what you're gonna be doing or how, how it's gonna work or who's gonna pick me up or where I'm gonna stay or what I'm gonna be doing, where in the country I'm gonna be. I didn't actually know what was gonna happen. All I knew was that someone was gonna pick me up from the airport and take me to somewhere I'd be staying. Because I was booking at a time where COVID was still a thing and we were coming out of it, there was no COVID restrictions, anything, they didn't tell us anything that we needed. You'd think that if they're giving you visa information, they'd give you some sort of COVID information. I then had to spend a large amount of money for insurance that, that Costa Rica was requiring for all tourists to have. And this all was a bit frustrating for us as we were continuously trying to reach out to IVHQ, which stands for International Volunteer Headquarters. Their office was closed on Saturday and Sunday, New Zealand time. So international headquarters doesn't really make sense when you're advertising yourself as that, but then you're stuck to New Zealand times. And the, the person we tried to contact, Kayla, which many, many people I met, told me how they did not get a response from Kayla after so many things going wrong on their trip and not a single person got a response. We waited for days for a response because of all these things that happened. I ended up having to miss my flight. Uh, and had I had the right information, this probably wouldn't have happened. So with no contact from Kayla from IVHQ, I then knew that I was getting picked up by a company named Maximo Novell, and this is in Costa Rica. I contacted them and within minutes I got a response saying, this person's gonna pick you up at this time. Uh, yeah, no worries, this is where we're gonna take you and then this is gonna happen. So I was coming to realize that IVHQ had nothing to do with what I was doing out in Costa Rica. Me there thinking I was then gonna be picked up by someone from IVHQ. I was gonna be talking to people from IVHQ. The company that I'm booking through had no connection with me and I was giving them money, which really I should have been given to Maximo Novell. And then being robbed, I had my mum contacting IVHQ, talking to them about what happened and very, very upset with the way we were being treated uh, with, with no information being given and no kind of relationship being built between us, the customer and them. My mum finally got a response from them after sending quite a pissed off email about how they've been useless and they pretty much scammed us for our money. Multiple people who I met who booked through IVHQ told me how they felt like they got scammed as well. So for you, if you're booking through IVHQ, if you've already done it, um, there's not much to do. You've just gone through the same process as what I've gone through. But if you're going to Costa Rica, for example, I'd recommend booking through Maximo Novell. There are, I'll get into more detail about the what happens next and you can also book through someone else, which I'll get into in about two seconds. I have to say though, Maximo Novell really took care of me, really made me understand what I was gonna be doing on my journey and my experience and how that was gonna go in Costa Rica. But then Maximo Novell gave me the information and all the, they gave me the money to get on a bus, two buses and a boat to Palos Mena, which is where I was gonna be living for the next three months. This then goes into another organization named ASTOP, which is the organization for the specific village. I then realized you can book through them for even cheaper um, 
but the only thing is they don't give you directions of how to get to Palace Mina. But if you're looking to save money, then I would recommend booking through them. Maximo Novell doesn't require any kind of application fee and neither does Astop. Um, so they're the two that I would recommend booking through if you're going to Costa Rica. And like I said, Astop is just in the village. Maximo Novell is the whole of Costa Rica. So you can get put in the peninsula side or the Caribbean side. And obviously I was in the Caribbean side, which is where Astop is. And Astop takes care of with your work, they take care of where you're going to be staying, uh, all the activities that you're going to be doing and multiple things around the village. With Maximo, they just send you off to your jobs. As you can see, I'm quite frustrated with IVHQ and I always will be, and I always recommend to people not to go through IVHQ. When I arrived in Padasmina, everyone was talking about how this Kayla lady did not give them any answers or any information. Maximo Novell would often contact me throughout my experience at, with Astop and would ask me how I was getting on, um, how long I was planning to stay, when I was planning to come back to San Jose, the main uh, city in Costa Rica. But for IVHQ, after my mom <laughs> sent them that pissed off email to them, there was nothing apart from a really, not even apology, but an ex explanation of why they didn't reply. Had my mom not sent that email, I doubt we would have got a reply because no one else I met in the village who had come to Astop got a reply from Kayla either. I hope this video is useful for you who are trying to book through IVHQ. Main thing is don't do it. I'm really to this day still pissed off with them and how I was treated by them after giving them crazy amounts of money to volunteer. So just I'll leave the links below for IVHQ. Oh fuck no I won't. I'll leave the links below for Maximo Novell and Astop if you are thinking about doing this. And I hope this video was useful for you. And if it was, I have loads of videos about Costa Rica and my experience in Costa Rica. If you want to know the story about my whole experience in Costa Rica and what I learned, you can watch this video here. I'll talk to you all about the things I loved and then the people I loved out there. Thanks for watching this video. Go watch the other ones because they're good like this one.